Greetings and salutations. My name is Tish and welcome to the Art of Saving, where home plus art equals heart. In this morning's live video broadcast, it is Coffee with Tish, aka Beginner's Studio pouring fun let's get to, and have some fun as you can see i've already had some fun I, I i had to mix up some white for this live so um i didn't realize how dangerously low i was i don't like being that low when it comes to white so um anyway um what the focus of this live stream is is to experiment and learn together um beginners um, ask questions, um, just laid back. That's why, you know, have a cup of tea, cup of Dr. Pepper, Mountain Dew, Diet Coke, whatever your thing is, and let's just, just learn and engage with each other and have a good time and make some cool art, hopefully. Taking a sip of my coffee and which got cold really fast. Goodness gracious. So let's say hello, hello to Doris and Celine and Melissa. And there's Johnny. Hey, Johnny. And Clara is here. Howdy, howdy. Yes, you caught us and caught me in the morning. Michael is off doing his thing. So it's just me today. Um, I, I like this new setup because I can see the chat and I can run the program and I don't have to run around this whole table. So Today we're going to do open cut pours. I am not very good at these, so we're going to learn together. Um, I asked Johnny um, this morning if he had time to come in and because he's kind of the open cup king. There's a lot of queens out there, but he's the king of open cups, I tell you. His always turn out so amazing and wonderful. And um, if you don't know who Johnny is, like JMO Painting, go over to his channel and... and uh, watch some of his content, subscribe, engage, because he's a really great guy and a fabulous artist too. Um, so tonight, in in lieu of using canvases, because um, I don't want, I don't have very many canvases left right now. And I say I don't have very many, I have less than five. I have, I have less than 10, but more than five <laughs> when it comes to various sizes. So I, I'm, I'm kind of waiting to buy more canvases and waiting to use them. So we're going to use tiles today. And being as they're small, I took one of these little cups. This is a little, this is the little red solo cup mini shot glass. And I, I, I took my Tim Holtz um, little mini scissors. These things are amazing. I don't know if you guys do scrapbooking or anything like that. But these things, I tell you what, they cut, they cut everything. And they stay sharp, too. I've had these for, like, three years now. Um, but I did some surgery. I, I cut the top off because we're going to try the top and see if it's too big. If it is, then we're going to, you know, um, we're going to go with the bottom. I cut the bottom off. So we'll see what happens here. So, um Let's see. Um, so I got these all. Basically, they're the consistency of, uh, um, oh, golly, jeepers, a Dutch pour or blow pour. Um, they're very thin. Um, I got like a trace of one, you know, you know, one and it's gone. So kind of like my ex-husband. But anyway, <laughs> so we're going to do. I got a bunch of different colors here. I don't know what I'm just going to play and see what happens. Um, I'm going to put a base coat down so it has something to move on. And we're going to see how this works. We're going to try the big one first, then we'll try the little one and just see if that makes a difference. Um, they are kind of the bottom piece. I cut, tried to cut it as straight as possible, but it's plastic and I've only had, well, I'm on my second cup of coffee this morning. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. There we go. All right. That should be enough. 
I'm gonna plunk this down in the middle. Do a little bit in here. There we go. Okay. So this is the dragonfly glaze that I've been playing with. This is what I'm gonna put on top. Um, and then I brought in a different blue. This is a little bit of a lighter blue and a pink. So we're gonna throw some gold down. Because I brought this out during Art of Palooza last night because I wanted to see what would happen if I threw some gold down with this. This is the Color Shift Plum Flash. Is it going to focus? I left autofocus on because I'm trying to hopefully it'll cooperate. Put some purple down. My stick go for this guy. Oh, I just knocked stuff over. And I do have my hair, my little blower on standby just in case it looks like hell. <laughs> Because here's the thing, <clears throat> I have tried open cut pours, and I have a couple of really cool ideas, but I just don't have a lot of patience. <laughs> All right. Let's do the screen. Some of this blue, and then we'll top it off with the dragonfly glaze and see what happens. <laughs> you can do it. Thank you for the Roboto confidence. Clara, I'm not so sure. There we go. I think we got enough paint. I'll just put a little dab in there. Okay. All right, let's wipe this guy off. That looks pretty cool. I'm, wipe, I'm just wiping the bottom of the, this guy off. Okay, just so you know, there is no silicone in any of my paint. This is just different densities. And I am using... Um, I am using the house paint as my base, the house paint titanium white and Floetrol. Um, and it's also some of the agitation from pouring from different heights that will help create cells as well. <clears throat> so I got that cleaned up. Let's put that over here so we don't catch it on fire. All right. Gonna Move this around a little bit. Okay. 
I just want to get that corner. Go bring it back. I'm going to leave that one corner just and maybe I just want to get some of this paint off of here. There's a lot of paint on here. Go. Okay, it's not a hot mess. Pretty. Let's torch this and see what happens. Good morning, Shane. guys out of the way. There's a bubble in my fabric. There we go. Let's bring this up. I apologize for the glare. There's a few cells. Lots of lacing though. Lots of layers. It's really pretty. All right, let's let's try the big one one more time. I'm going to use a little less paint this time. Dude, I keep dropping my towel. This one up there. Thank you, Johnny. Thanks, Doris. Thank you, Melissa. Okay. I think what we're going to do... We're gonna try the big the oh yeah, let's do the little one. Let's see it and we'll just use a little less paint. And get the sides. Don't forget the sides, Tish. So I've been watching some food channels and stuff on YouTube because I I just unpacked all my kitchen stuff. Um I'm still like organizing the kitchen and, and organizing all my baking stuff and taking stock of what I actually have and been watching cake decorating and I'm like, dude, I need to, I need, I need to do some of this because now I have, <laughs> now I have Michael to help me eat it and, <laughs> and Sarah and it's really bad scout. Okay, so this is the bottom of the cup. It's just a little bit smaller. We're gonna try using a little less paint. We're just gonna fill this up once and see what happens. So, um, let's do the purple. High up. And then dark blue. And then let's do some pink. Well, hello, Art Flow by Mo. Good morning, good morning, or good afternoon. Good evening, wherever you are. And if you're catching this on the replay, hello. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. All 
All right, we're gonna do a little bit of the dragonfly glaze. I just want to call it dragon glaze. I mean, and I love dragonflies. Don't get me wrong, but I want you know, in my head it's dragons. Okay, so that's all the paint I'm gonna use. Oh yeah, let's drizzle some white on the top here. Ta-da! Okay, I'm gonna let that kind of sit, do its thing. Drag it over here. There we go. I'm gonna get some more coffee. Because as if I need more coffee, right? I'm like all hyper. Okay, so we're gonna kinda There we go, let's wipe this guy off. I'm gonna move these scissors before I get them covered in paint. Go. I'm going to wipe this little guy out. So you can see my cutting job was <laughs> that great. But I'm, I'm finding that that's kind of helping, that it's not like this perfect seal at the bottom. Now that one looks cool. All right, I'm going to torch this before I tilt it because I might not tilt this one that much. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this bottom before it becomes part of one of my paintings here. Torch first. And the prickles. I'm just going to make sure. I've got my corners here. Now that one's cool. Okay. Let's try and see if we can do this with the big, the big cup. Or the big part of the cup. If we can't, then we'll go back to the smoke. Because this is actually really cool. There's not too much paint on there. I don't want to leave too much paint because I don't want it to crack. But I don't want to lose all those cool little cells either. Let's see here. Let's see if I can pull this down. There we go. That's kind of fun. There's a whole bunch of color underneath. You know, I think next Thursday we're going to practice balloon rolls because I think this would be a good practice for balloon rolls. If something doesn't qu turn out quite right. Okay, we're going to tip this. We're going to have to sacrifice a couple of these gold guys. So we need to get some of this paint off of here. There we go. I'm going to tip it back. I don't mind that white corner. Now that is epic. I don't know if you can see it, but the, the pink and the gold kind of blended together and the purple's in there too. That's pretty cool. All right. So let's grab another coaster here, another tile. Dirt. <laughs> it's messy.
<laughs> Thanks, Clara. I do. So, well, you know what? I'll be honest with you. It's, I just never, I guess maybe I'm just channeling my inner JMO. <laughs> maybe I just need to talk to him before I do <laughs> any open cup pours. Because <laughs> the last ones I did, I didn't even, you, that, that video never saw the light of day. I deleted that. It was awful. It was sad. It was like, nope. Scrap that. <laughs> that ended up on the cutting room floor. It was awful. And I painted over it, like, with black, so no one would ever see it. <laughs> it was awful. So that's why it made me nervous. But then I keep seeing all of Johnny's paintings and all the open cups that he's doing. And I'm like, I can do this. I can do it. Really, I can. It's the balloon rules that really scare me. That's that's really kind of that's daunting. <laughs> that's like oh Jesus. I I've tried those too. I can do the smashes, you know, like the the, the whole where you just go down, but it's the whole rolling thing. I think it's because my wrists are just bad. All that, all those years of working with dough. Now I let my KitchenAid do the kneading for me. <laughs> like, screw that business. Okay, we're gonna go back to the. Okay, so this is the top. So those of you who missed out, I took um, one of these little red solo cup shot glasses. I get these at the dollar store, Dollar Tree, whatever you want to call it, and I cut the top off, and then I cut the bottom off, and this is the little piece. It's really, it's really squishy. But um, so we're going to try this one again. That This one did that one. This one did that one. So we're going to see if we can get those results with this top. So we're going to set that down. And put a little bit of white in there. Okay. And let's see. I like how that's layered. So we're going to do the same similar colors. So we're going to do this purple. Okay. And the dark blue. You've had those moments, yeah. It's like, okay, what the hell did I just do? Okay, we're gonna put the gold down next. And the green, then the pink, and then the diamond glaze, the diamond glaze. I've been watching too many ATD videos. <laughs> I'm excited for that class. I got to remember when that class is for eight for artists till death. I can't think it's the 25th, but that's what I get for thinking. Just a little bit of pink and a little bit of this diamond glaze or dragonfly glaze. There we go. Get the product right, Tish. Whoa, Bessie. Twenty fifth, okay. I actually got the kit coming. Okay. Yeah, we're not getting that same. We'll see. Let's let it chill out a little bit. Oh, that's really pretty, though. That's a 
a lot of lacing going on. And so this is the dragon, this is that, that dragonfly glaze on the top, I think. So I'm gonna walk it back and forth here. I can open up that, but I'm going to bring it back. Holy gold, that one is just totally taking over. I just happened to look up. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it just like that. Actually, <clears throat> I'm going to tap this here. There we go. Let's do the same. Let's see if we can do that with this side. Running out of clean space. <laughs> okay. All right. So this down here is that dragon fly glaze, I think. So it's going to dry clear with glitter. And oh my gosh, you guys. I'm going to post some pictures of that here momentarily. I just took some this morning. Then I realized what time it was and needed to get my crap together. So I called Johnny and be like, dude. So that's with the big cup. Let's do the little cup again. See what kind of results. I think we're getting gonna get more um more of the wispy type thing with the bigger cup. So um and the more condensed, because check this out. Look at this thing. This monstrosity. Oh, the cup's coming with it. Okay. Look at that. It's insane. Makes me hungry for eggs and, and sausage. I'm hungry for eggs and sausage anyway, but you know. So not sure on this one, but I like these two. This one's still kind of eh. Mm. But we're going to see how it dries. Because that, that dragonfly glaze, is, it, it, it's in a, in a clear base when it dries, but it looks milky when it's wet. So that's why I'm kind of, okay. Uh-oh. She's got paint on here already. That's okay. Let's take it and wipe it off. I can pour with resin, acrylic pouring, and painting scare me. Yes, 25th to me. I, you know, I'm the, I'm the exact opposite. Resin scares the living daylights out of me. And it's not that I haven't tried, and it's not that I haven't, you know, had success. And I, I, I coat all the coasters and some of my paintings in resin. So it's, it's not, it's not that part. It's just, I see people like, Erica and 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 Clara and Doris do all these awesome things and Sue oh my god 
And it's like, I try and do it, and it looks like a hot garbage fire dumpster cruising down a toxic river. <laughs> you know, it's just, ugh. But I have an idea that I want to try out, and it won't work. Well, it, it might work in, in acrylic, but it'll look prettier in resin. So I just, I got to get the basics down. I got to get, I got to do the things. So I ordered more resin from Erica. Um, and plus I need it for my coasters and stuff. Um, so... Um, there's that. Okay, we're gonna do the little cup right in the center there. Give it a little bit of white. So I, I you know, I'm, I'm actually, I have. Thank you, Johnny, for <laughs> giving me a little pep talk this morning. <laughs> no, maybe it's the green. We're gonna start with green. And the green just doesn't like everybody else. But, um, yes, thank you, Johnny, for coming to my aid and my rescue. These are actually really nice. I, I'm actually enjoying these. <laughs> I'm not in tears and I'm not cussing. I warned you guys there'd either be some cuss words or some snorts, and there you go. <laughs> okay, let's do the gold. I have to mix. I have to mix up more gold. And some pink. And then the dragon flag lace. Well, welcome JMP1229. I cannot, I know you told us, I, I believe you told us your name. But you know what? As I'll tell everybody else, um, I named my children and I have a hard time remembering their names. So don't take offense if I don't re remember yours. It's just... That's why I make an awful salesperson because I can't remember people's names. I'll remember your face until the day I die. But <laughs> okay. gave me an idea. Thanks. Send okay. All right, Clara. I don't know if I <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that, but <laughs> it's Joanne. Okay. I will try and remember that. And it took me like the better part of uh, six months to remember Elisa's name. So like I said, if I don't remember your name, please don't take offense. Okay, so I need to save some of these. That one turned out really wispy again. So we're gonna pour this off. That. I know I, I should have torched it before I I'll torch it. We're gonna torch it right now as soon as I get boofed up. That's you forget who you are all the time. You know what? I, I can relate to that <laughs> on an epic scale. Okay, you know what? We're just going to leave this one. So I'm getting consistent results with these two. These two are off in left field. <laughs> I think it's the green, to be honest. I'm just going to tap this corner. And I'm just going to let this sit here and do its thing. I'm going to tap this corner. I'm going to do a finger roll. There we go. 
Is that a thing? A finger roll? <laughs> I figure if I can do it with my finger, maybe I can do it with an actual object in my hand. Okay, we're going to tip this one just a little bit. Let's bring these down. Well, I almost dropped it. Almost dropped it. There we go. I love how this pink and the gold mix together. Okay, so I'm just going to set this here and I'm going to tap this with my finger again. So. <laughs> yes, woofta, woofta. You take the girl out of Minnesota, but you can't take the Minnesota out of the girl. That's exactly it. I still remember as a kid, I went to go visit my cousins in California. And I said, oofta. And my one cousin looked at me and said, what the hell did you just say? <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> she thought I was swearing or something. <laughs> So I think this is the, the actual dragon glaze. So we're going to see. Oh, there's a bunch of teeny tiny little cells coming up there. I am going to just let this one sit. I'm going to bring it up so you guys can see it up close. Good morning, Jeannie. So you guys can see. Again, I apologize for the glare. I got, I'm, I'm working on a, on a thing. But I got like 15 things that I'm working on. So my original idea didn't work. So that's why I just, you know, decided to wait. <laughs> How about? After the open cup, you use the leaf blower instead of tilting. You know what? Let's do one. <laughs> Shane, you're a bad influence. <laughs> that sounds like an idea. Okay, so we're gonna put this, hang on, I gotta make some room. Because I got my little leaf blower right here. Come here, little guy. There we go. Come here. Come here. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Game on. There we go. Okay. I gotta grab a tile here. I, I pre now I pre-wipe all of them and then stick them off in a corner. Um just to make sure. There we go. Okay. Um, let's use the bigger one this time. I want to wipe this guy out, the little guy out, though, because I don't want paint to dry in there. Okay, so there's that. Come on, baby. <laughs> Come on, fingers. You know you want to work. I'm just... I don't know if you've ever cut yourself with plastic, but it hurts. So, yeah, when you're using just the cups like this, like just like plain like this, be careful. Don't cut yourself. And I will tell you, I do know. Okay. Let's put a little bit of weight down. I'd say I'm using... Uh, maybe two teaspoons, a tablespoon, because if I remember correctly, it's three teaspoons to a tablespoon, and I'm not quite using a, I, 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 I'm using a little more than, probably a tablespoon, yeah, probably a tablespoon of paint, making sure to get my edges, because that's something I'm really bad at. Okay. 
big guy in the middle. Up. Hang on. We have a gloop. We have a gloop. Wow, he's a really big gloop. Okay. Just put him off in the corner there where he belongs. Time to switch cups. Actually, I need to find my bottles. Is what I need. Definitely a baker. <laughs> Hi. Okay, let's do purple. You notice a common thread here? Purple. Oops, that one on the outside. That's okay. Actually, let's use this light blue. So the, it's, I mean, it's still dark. It's just not as dark. Okay. Pink. Gold. And I need to get my hands on more of this stuff. So, <laughs> Michael and I are going to Walmart. Well, get back here. Okay. So, I missed it. That's okay. All right, I got to tilt it a little bit. Because, all right, how should I blow this? <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Good morning, Judy. I just want to leave it like this. <laughs> All right. Jane, you clever bugger.
Here. Okay. I kind of did that. <laughs> I did the edges first and then kind of came back and did the areas that I think needed help. But I didn't want to disrupt some of these cells. Some of these cells are really cool. I am going to go back and do that one little section right there. I kind of did, like you said, Shane, I'm going to start it in the middle. Oops. Yeah. Here we go. I think it's it. All right, let's switch this one more time. We incorporated some air in there. All right. All right, Shane. <laughs> How do I do? What do you think? Actually, what I like is this little corner right here. Because I, when I hit it with the little blower, it blew that into like a rainbow. I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up without the glare. But there's like a, it's like a rainbow effect in that corner right there. And that came from the blower. I would have never gotten that with a tilt. So, I like it like that. That's the orientation I like. All right. There you go, Shane. <laughs> so, join us tomorrow night for our Friday Night Flip Cup. I appreciate all of you joining me today. And if you're catching this on the replay, make sure to smash that like button and share this out on the interwebs. And thank you for joining me. If you're enjoying our little vibe and want to join a creative tribe, just click that subscribe, hit the notification bell, and that'll let you know when we go live on our channel. Have a great day, everybody. Go out there, create something awesome. Thank you so much. And remember, be kind to one another. Peace, love, and happiness.